And again, I neglected to actually bring Storm Sender Seeds or <laughs> just about anything else I could possibly actually use in this bit quest. That's okay. We'll make it through somehow. Do I actually have normal whetstones? I do. Okay. Real happy to have Cha Cha with me, though. Real awesome. Love this guy. So the worst part about fighting with Geocross in the deserted island is he starts off in area 11. It's kind of an issue because you have to run all the way from base camp through 5, 9, 10 to reach 11. I mean, not, not 5, 9, 10. Uh, you, you take the shortcut to 9, but I mean, if the shortcut wasn't there, that would be atrocious. A little interesting note for those of you waiting for Monster Hunter Freedom 3. The, or Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. They're actually going to be removing water from the game. And so what that means is a lot of times water areas will be dried up. And the way that the deserted island is going to work is the base camp is actually going to be right below 1. And I think it will go from 1 to 2. And there'll actually be a shortcut from 2 to 6. And then Area 4 is going to be a little bit easier seen from the map. Okay, we're going to eat a Might Seed. I'm going to try and get one bomb off preemptively. And still see if there's time. I don't have speed set up in this, so it's going to be a little bit harder. Nope. Well, hopefully we can get one off. That works. <laughs> and I actually probably took less damage from him tail whipping me than I would have taken from being hit by those bombs. And Sha Cha, again, demonstrating that he is amazing. If you didn't notice, that was his boomerang that put the Geocrest into bad times. And of course, you can counter right through the screens which you will want to do. And you're also going to want to get not be as over-eager and attacking as I was. There was no, no reason for me to take damage there. Okay, my general strategy in that during this like big lightning storm is just to get as close to him as possible and actually block his body electricity and hope, hope that I'm close enough that his like, large electricity bombs won't hit me. And Cha-Cha continuing to be amazing. I actually, I think I countered that, but for some reason, for some reason it didn't matter. Did I get hit there? I can't really tell. And the lance is absolutely the most ideal weapon for fighting underwater. Uh-oh. Well, I actually countered it. Wow. <laughs> that went very well. <laughs> Much better than I could have hoped. Okay, I'm probably at the point where I'm going to need to heal. And the toughest thing to do uh, when fighting the G-Crest of the Lance is trying to find a moment where you can actually feel safe about putting your weapon away. Because that can be pretty nerve-wracking. And you see I do a lot of my movement with just attacks. I do a lot of shield advancing. There we go. 
We got really lucky there. It's exactly when I would have wanted him to, to pass out because I needed to sharpen. So sharpen, take a potion, and here's the problem I had before. <laughs> is detonating these bombs can be problematic. I'm actually going to try and set them off with Trank Bombs, because I'm just so scared. Oh no! Well, you know what? We got our... I believe we actually got the bombs off. But I was able to sharpen. Oh, his tail just barely got me there. And again, at this half, this like halfway point is like really when you should be healing. <laughs> and ideally doing it at a point when he's actually not going to hit you. Oh no! Cha-Cha is going to solo him. Okay, he's going to do his charge here, so wait for him to miss and then heal. Or sharpen or whatever it is you want to do. Oh, well usually he charges. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> he's got he's got quite a reach on that. I'm getting a little low on oxygen, but that's okay. Oh wow! It's getting a little sloppy here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay uh, above 50%. Even though that's really when my defense kicks in. It's not as necessary. You see, you notice if you stay like really close to him, it's not that bad. Because only only the first hit of it will count. You, you, you don't get hit multiple times even though it's technically electricity, and it should hit you multiple times. You running away? Hey, made him go to sleep again. Oh, Cha-Cha, you woke him up. Why would you do that? Oh, he's in rage mode, I think. Cha-Cha doesn't care. He does what he wants. <laughs> right? Were you in rage mode, Cha-Cha? What's going on over there, buddy? <laughs> I'm sure he did a ton of damage. Let's go ahead and use this uh, flash bomb at some point. May as well. Hopefully he's going to run onto land. Let's just wait a little bit and see. Oh, he would have done it. Okay, we'll try and get some shots off on the head. We've had some unsuccessful sleep bombing. So the head hasn't been broken as easily. By the way, the head isn't as weak on the Geocrust as it is for, like, most monsters. Like, and what I mean by that is, like, Raytheon takes, like, a ton of damage on her head. The Geocrust, not so much. Uh, I mean, you know, for, for slashing, he takes a lot of damage on it. I mean, he takes, you know, a decent amount compared to the rest of his body. But actually, I think he's weakest on his chest to slashing. Okay, get ready to block the second one. Uh-oh. 
Uh, I had already started the counter. Oh no! I got hit twice. Don't be shocked. Okay. And he's ready to be captured. So, what's the time at? Oh, it's about the same time for my bow gun. Well, I had to run a little bit farther. Such is life. Flash him. That's not really the way to do it, though. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did bring trim bombs. Takes so long to. Oof. Get. Get the trap out. Cha -cha. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, it's like, what do you do? Do you heal? I mean, definitely block the attack when it comes out at you. Things, things are going awry. No! What are you doing? Don't run! Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I guess we'll see some land fighting. Some more land fighting. This. I don't want it to take... Okay, it's still under 15 minutes. Disappointing, yes, but acceptable. Well, maybe I'll actually try to cut his tail. That'll be fun. It's so weird fighting on land. used to it anymore. <laughs> He's uh, really digging that. He's really digging his uh, body swipe attack. Yeah, you really need guard plus one against him. Alright, there's his tail. I say we just finish him with bombs. That's it. <laughs> Intense. 15 minutes and 51 seconds. Of course, that's bizarro Monster Hunter time. So I'll definitely be able to fit it into the, the limit. And things probably went as wrong during that run as they could have. <laughs> There's really, it couldn't get much worse.
And again, for those of you wondering, you need to have a plus four attack charm. But that should be pretty easy at this point. I got mine from doing the delivery quests, I believe. The, the poached egg delivery.